Hello friends, so I have a few tips and tricks on refactoring React code using using uh, Visual Studio Code and a Visual Studio Code extension. So I thought I should share this tip with you all. Now, if you have any alternatives to anything I'm sharing in this video, please feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comment section. The first shortcut is converting HTML to JSX automatically. For example, I have this icon in Figma and I want to copy the SVG to a React component. Now, when I paste this icon in a component, you should see that it looks more like a HTML code and less like JSX. So things like stroke width are written with hyphens, but we want the camera case version. So instead of changing the code manually, one after the other, you can just right click and click the convert HTML to JSX after selecting the code you want to convert. Now, the next four shortcuts can be achieved with the help of an extension called Glean. It's a toolbox for several React refactoring tricks. First of all, let's quickly install it in VS Code. And once you have it installed, you can take advantage of the second shortcut. The second shortcut is using Glean to extract a component from JSX. So, select a portion of the JSX you want to move to a new component and then click the light bulb icon. You should see a few options, but for now, just click the extract component option. Now give the component a name and hit enter. What Glen would do is it would generate a new component and pass the state as props to the component. The third shortcut is also related to extracting components from JSX. Although this particular shortcut is for extracting a component into a new file. So select the JSX and click the light bulb icon. Then select Extract Component to File. Choose the folder to create the component in. Choose the component or create a new file. Then give the file a name. Glen will create the component and also import and render it. It will also pass the state as props to the component, just like the previous shortcut. The fourth shortcut is a quick way to convert between functional and class components. Select the component you want to convert and click the light bulb icon. Click Convert Function to Class Component. You can also do the reverse and convert a class component to a function component by clicking the bulb icon and selecting Convert Class to Function Component. Glenn will warn you that you will lose the lifecycle method. Click yes if you're fine with that. The last shortcut is rendering a line or block of code conditionally. So let's assume we have to render this button when the URL exists. You can select the button, click the light bulb icon and click render conditionally. You can change the default value to the URL and then just leave the null value or replace it with whatever element you want to replace it with. All right, and those are just the five tips I have for you today. If you have any other tips that you think everyone might find useful, please feel free to leave a comment and there's a chance I might turn those comments into videos. Thank you so much for watching.